a shaft different skill and I have a really big box and yes stuff just came so let's get right on to it this time I flicked out my blade beforehand but if you want to see uh, uh, anyways so uh, So, um, a lot of things in here won't be for sale or for trade or for anything like that. Uh, a lot of the stuff is stuff that my friends slap onto my orders, or I slap onto their orders, whichever comes first. So, I'll be telling you guys what is and isn't for sale. Of course, everybody's going to be asking, is that for sale? Is that for sale? Anyway, so, I might as well not explain this, though. So. Oh my god, the paper. So it's just really messy behind me, like that way. Alright, so there's a pack of the sleeves. Um, this is probably for Ben. I'm going to assume it's for little busters. And this one is most likely for Ben as well. So these are probably most likely not for sale. And this is made by Broccoli, so that means it's made by the same people who made ZX. So somewhere else. Is that, is that actually all of it? Two boxes of oh, well, two boxes of Asuka's trial deck. Um, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty decent. No to say. So, uh, if you guys haven't, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you guys later. Uh, two boxes of the uh, Ayase starter deck. It says Ayase's deck on it, even. So it comes with my favorite card. A healthy sum of boxes. Well, it's not. It's not too much stuff that I have friends slapped on. I thought it was more than that. Yep, that's it. So here are seven boxes, I think. Eight. Eight. So uh, I'll be opening one right now. But before so, I'll explain that. Uh, these are for sale. I got them just so I could sell them here. So you guys who wanted to try ZX TCG, TCG may try them. And uh, I'll basically show you what it kind of looks like. Okay. So when you get one of these, you get this little shrine kind of thing. So it's like you get a shrine here, you got your player card, and then a little deck box that comes with your deck in it. Um, since I'm not going to ship it all like this because this will cost... Uh, this is hard to ship because it's so bulky, so I'm just going to open it up, just to show you guys. I should open it up a Jessica one, because if no one wants it, I, at least I can still use it. So it's okay, I'm sure people want this. So. Come on. Okay. So, um, taking this card out, just be very careful. They're pretty sturdy, so it comes with those little sleeves, so it should be fine. And then get your little shrine. If you want to keep this, or if you want me to cut this out for you, um, by all means, I will do it for you. But I probably won't send sell, send you the sh the shrine thing. Actually, I probably could after like I've disassembled it. I could probably put it like this and ship it. And then here's your playmat slash rulebook. So it's a playmat on one side. And a rule book on the other, so comes with this too, and then the deck box. So let's, let's go take a look at that. So inside there will be packaged that, uh, and yeah. So your whole deck will be in here. I don't know why this one's up front. It should be the shinier one. Just a mispacking or something. Yeah, there, there's a shiny one behind this one. And then, uh, so basically you get these two, and 
it's really worth all the value. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what the trial decks kind of look like. Now I have a trial deck that's open, so I'm just going to shove it back in here. And uh, yeah, so if you guys want some of these trial decks, uh, just PM me. So be glad to spread the word and whatnot. So here's my set three finally. I'll open one now and I'll open the rest later. What I'm looking for is Destroin in Cardinal Blade and uh, Beast, no, Demon of Lust and Luxuria. That lust, as they say it. So, um, I have five SRs and one shiny SR to hopefully get my stuff in. And I got these point, point, ooh, the blue ones this time. And, uh, this guy is the red player. I don't know his name. So. It's neat how, um, this one is like this. So, like, it doesn't, like, I don't even know why she's on the cover, because she's not even in this set. But, oh well. Oh, they changed the packaging a little. Let's get right onto it. They changed their points too, the textures are different. Alright, so looking through cards, um, I'm going to be very unfamiliar. Oh, but I got my first SR. I got the white dragon. This was probably one of the weaker dragons, but it's okay. I'm expecting to pull lots of everything. This card is, you can deal split 8k up to two, up to two things um, when you have two or more life, uh, two or less life. Yeah. Uh, some random whole ride chick. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Oh, this one is. Uh, if you ignition this card, you can play it for six cost. It's kind of bad. So it's like a shitty ignition, really. So, well, I guess it's an 8.5k ignition, but still, we had to pay for it, so it's not really very useful. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Um, I just know there's some cards in here that I really want, so, uh, yeah. Hmm. Awkward. Uh, Atreus Holiday? Oh, this card is really good. Um, you look at the top five cards, rearrange them, and put them back on top. So this is very good for uh, an aggro -y deck, where you just... It's actually good for every deck, really, that uses blue. And there's a lot of lollies in the background. It's very nice. And uh, speaking of, you know, usefulness and whatnot, um, yeah, usefulness, whatever. <laughs> Some crab. These are basically all star cards. These two are star cards, I think. This is a life recovery. Life recovery. I don't recall what this is. And a UC. Hmm. Anyways, so not very exciting, but I wonder what my shiny SR will be. Random skeleton ship, a ladybug, a sword. Ooh, I think I saw a shiny. Uh, a card, a shiny ship. <laughs> oh, this card. I think this card is really good. Uh, this card is is um. It's a resource combo. If you have this card in your resource, and then you put the blue one in, you get to draw a card. So I'm just going to put this right here, so so I'm going to see if I can get to find it or not. And if I actually pull one. Because I'm probably going to run four of each, because that's just a really good combo. So basically in the set, they introduce resource combos, which, ooh. Which, um, yeah, ooh. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm getting distracted while I'm talking. Uh, which basically do things when you have two specific, one specific card in your resource, and when you place one from your hand into your resource. So, most of the effects are quite weak, except for this one, where you get to draw a card. The other ones are like burned for 3k or something, it's kind of mediocre. Haha. <laughs> uh, this guy is called Singapura, get it? Because he's a cat? Anyways. Um, some lolly, team evil cute thing. Uh, pedophile raccoon, some angel chick, a tiger, and some elephant guy. Man, I'm bad at this. <laughs> because when I did the set review, there wasn't, the pictures weren't released yet, so I probably know what all these cards do, that, but it's just that um, I don't know the picture to it. A shiny, shiny squirrel, dude. I think it's a squirrel. And... 
card. Don't know what it is, but it looks pretty nice. So much else here. Hmm, awkward. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be cracking the rest of the seven. Um, I will not be selling these boxes, sorry, because I need to stock up on the cards just so that I can, you know, sell cards to you guys. The fuck is this? Now these cards are when you have 10 more trash, this card gains 3.5, uh, 4.5. This card, uh, 1.1k, so that's 5.5. This card's actually not bad. Um, probably gonna use it actually, just because it's, you know, good, good ignition. I'm looking for mainly the Abyss. Ooh, this card. This card is when you have one life, you can play this card on top of your life, like put it like on top of it. It's pretty good. In fact, I'll just put it right there. Uh, the Blue Dragon. Uh, this is Drive Fion. Drive Fion, I think. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. 8 cost 11k is nothing to scoff at. It's huge. And then its effect is that for one blue, you may move it out of. You can move it anywhere on the play, on the battlefield, as long as there's no ZX on it. So you can go up to attack and then move it back to defend. But um, the problem with moving up to attack is that it gets vulnerable to being hit by removal. So this card is very neat. Uh, I'm probably gonna play it in my decks. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll see how it goes. It's one of those cards that are good at certain situations, but not really good at all situations. So yeah, but it's pretty much good at all situations. It's just max value. Ooh, what's this? Oh, this card's really good. I completely blank out on what it does. Alright, um, when you evil seed this, so when you ignition this card, uh, when it's when it's sent to the graveyard, when it's sent to the trash, I think is what it's called in this game. Yeah, when it's sent to the trash, you can select one card in your resource and add it back to your hand. This is a really good evil seed. And, ooh, War Squirrel. War Squirrel's really good. Uh... When you play this card, you may select one unit, that unit gains, this unit gains plus 2,000 for each Lycanthrope on your field. So basically, for one turn, she's a base 6.5, but then uh, she could get things a lot bigger. So this card is good with Fiyu. So you play Fiyu, you play her, and then Fiyu becomes 13.5. Um, another cat. Ooh, where's she? So cute. So cute. Uh, so this one is a combo card. The Abyss, I need more of these. I can't believe, I forgot, I didn't know it was a rare, damn it. But by all, by all means, because it's such a good card. And some random shiny guy. Um, the Abyss is uh, really, really good removal. Uh, destroy a target non black creature, add this card to charge. It's very good. Very efficient. Oops, that was my point that I threw away. This card, ooh, who cares about this card? This card looks nice, though, isn't it? Hmm. Neat. Singapura. Some crazy demon rat thing. This card gives all lawbringers the ability that if they are attacked and not destroyed, then they destroy the attacking card. I don't know what she does. Ooh, what's this? I have no idea what kind of trait this is. This looks very nice, doesn't it? Hey, huh? Still no dragon that I want, so. Well, it's fine. I've only gotten through two SRs, so there's plenty of time. Aw, yeah! What is this? And I got rare. Um, so, yeah, this is the highest rarity card in the game. Uh, it's a basically a full art shiny player card. Is that? Oh, that doesn't even take up my rare. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm sure people will want this card. Look at this. Shing Shing, you guys. Um, Athena. Cool. This card is probably worth a pretty penny. I was hoping to get the Ayase one. But I don't know. I don't know how often you get I got rare. Yeah, it's called I got rare. It's like I G O D O rare. So I'm like, what? And type X, whatever the fuck. Uh, this card is one one blue. You get to bounce any card with three costs or less. And I don't know what this card does. So. My bad, guys. Huh. Weird. 
So currently I'm only pulled two SRs, so I should be getting a decent amount of SRs in the next few. I wonder if the I God Rare contributes to my shiny pull. I wonder if it does. Well, here's a shiny heal for Angel Traits. Uh, permanent hidden character Asagi. Um, I believe this character is from Disgaea. And um, it's pretty beefy, 6 cost 10k. The downside is that it cannot be placed in the player circle, so it's okay. Oh, this card looks damn good. But it probably sucks. <laughs> Uh, this guy, eh, it's a leafer. It's a whole rack, actually. When this card destroys an opponent's ZX, you may put the add the top card of deck into your resource. So that's okay, I guess. But it's kind of underpowered for what it costs. Stuff here. Crimson Invasion. Need these, so always good. More wear sheeps. This card is pretty neat. Uh, two cost to store a card with six cost or higher. So it's kind of neat. Hold on, please. At least one black dragon in this, please. Ooh, a shiny permanent character Asagi. Looks very nice. Let's count the shinies I got. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got five already though, and but I didn't get a shiny SR. Hmm, maybe I don't get one when I get an I got rare. Or maybe this is just a messed up box. We'll see. But nonetheless, it's okay. I got the I got rare, so I could not complain. Yes, Luxuria. Uh, I'm looking for these cards. This card is very good. When you play, you can add two cards from your chart uh, from your trash back to your charge. It it sets up for good stuff. Trust me, it's good. It's a good card. That lost, right? Come on, Cardinal Blade. I think Cardinal Blade is such a cool name. Like actually, some disgustingly cute hamster. I ooh, what's that in here? I still oh, it's the last pack. Oh my god. This should be an SR, I think. I think I'm missing one more. Okay. Let's do it the slow motion way. So first, let's look at the point. Who cares? No, oh, it wasn't an SR. That was weird. Let me check this. One. Two. Three. Okay, never mind. Four. Five. Okay, so my SRs are the white dragon, the black, the green, the blue dragon, um, this mecha chick, uh, this dude chick, and this hot chick. <laughs> so, um, it's weird that I got six shinies because probably because I got an I got rare and messes up the rarity scaling. Um, this also means that I don't get another shiny SR, which is kind of annoying to me. But oh well, that's good. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll be opening more later. I uh, don't know if I'll be filming it. If I will, definitely will be on the channel. So if you guys want to see more, rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave comments and stuff. Uh, if you guys want to buy trial decks, which you guys probably like, wait, there are trial decks. <laughs> so I'm just going to refresh your memory. So yes, there's trial decks. Um, then message me at, uh, PM me at Defensive Skill. So see you guys later. Bye.